It used to be if a student in Edmond schools couldn't afford lunch, they'd get a brown bag with a sandwich, fruit, and milk. But kids caught on and would sometimes tease those students for being poor. To stop that, the district implemented a pilot program this year where no student had to pay for lunch if they didn't have the money that day. Those, Those who didn't qualify for the federally subsidized free lunch would simply have a bill sent home. And unfortunately, we are sitting at $96,000 in school lunch debt. It turns out hundreds of families in the district have either forgotten or simply chosen not to pay their tabs. In fact, the district says of that $96,000 owed, 71,000 of it is from families who can afford to pay. Megan DeVries runs the district's meal program. How do you keep people from taking advantage of this system? That is the tricky area. Tricky because some families may make just a bit too much money but still have trouble feeding their kids. But that isn't the only factor. In 2017, the district finished the school year with just $6,000 in lunch debt. This year, with a new program, it's $96,000 to be eaten by taxpayers. Many think people these days just can't be trusted. No, um, we didn't have that trouble when our kids were in school. There was, yeah, I don't know, people take advantage of things. The district is looking at ways to more aggressively pursue those who haven't paid up, but it isn't abandoning the program just well, the, yet. The, the program is well intended, um, but is it a failure at this point? This past year was the pilot program, and we are identifying ways that it worked well and ways that we need to improve. So just what does $96,000 buy a school district these days? Well, one example, it'll pay for two middle school math teachers for an entire year and have enough left over to buy them lunch every day. At the Edmonds School District Headquarters, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.